Hi you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Life with Dario. I am Dario for anybody that is new, and if you are new here, hey, go hey. I hope you consider joining the fam bam. See your girl done change. I'm in like pure. I hope y'all can see this pure cooking mode. Okay, bonnet on because I'm cooking for somebody else. So I'm definitely one of those people that I don't like cooking with my hair all out in the open. So I had to throw on a bonnet. Anyways, y'all, let me show you what I got from Publix. So I had to stop at Publix before I came home and started cooking. Publix had buy one get one free off of the green beans. So we got two of those. I got some vegetable oil for the cake because it's instant cake right now until I get my kitchen aid mix to be baking from scratch. This is the one that I got. I was going to get the cream cheese one, but I was like, yeah, I'll keep it basic, simple. Some vanilla, some heavy whipping cream. Um, got some cheese going on here. Cake. The other bag of green beans. And then strawberries. Now... I need to actually, if y'all hear in the background, that's the beef stew going off. So I need to actually hurry up, season the chicken so that the chicken can also go on the stove. Before I touch the chicken, because I just washed my hands, I want to actually wash the rice um, so that that can go on. the finished product the cake is done and everything else is done hi you guys happy saturday so i just finished dress shopping with my mom my sister and our family friend so now we're about to go grab something to eat we might look at another dress um another dress place again i'm not too sure but i need to go find an outfit for this concert because i don't know if i like the outfit that i have so i need to go find an outfit for outfit for this concert or at least some of the finished touches on the outfit that i'm thinking of wearing but yeah y'all finna come try this new place with us so let's go try a new foodie find let's go so this is the ootd future mrs shirt my jeans my shoes and my bag you're in the morning but i need you now yeah yeah i find why i give you what you need i know what you like I'm really coming. Time is up to get 
Anyways, you guys, so I just finished up um, at the dress place. We're going to go to a second dress place. But, y'all, it's a kid's day place. Their dress is past as wedding dresses, but I'm like, no, I want a wedding dress, wedding dress. So, we just finished up at the actual brunch spot that we just ate at. And now we're about to go look at the potential cake lady. And, y'all, I don't know. I... I'm debating if I want to do another dress appointment somewhere else or not. The only reason being because like that's like my first time ever trying on wedding dresses. One of the mistakes that I made was I jumped into getting the dress. And I'm like, okay, I definitely want to verify and make sure like this is most definitely the dress. Like this is a dress for me. Like I felt very beautiful in this dress, y'all. Like I felt pretty, so pretty in a dress. So yeah. I'm gonna double check and see. There were other dresses that I like, but I'm like, eh, right now, five, six k plus on a dress is just not feasible right now, especially because I'm trying to keep it as micro, simple, and cute as possible. So that dress was definitely fitting in the budget. I liked it. So now I am waiting for everybody. My sister had to stop and do something, so I'm waiting for my sister, my mom, and my family friend. I don't. I think she should be here. I mean, we all just left from the same spot. But, yes, y'all. And I need to figure out my freaking outfit for tomorrow and what I'm going to wear for church tomorrow, y'all. I am just so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, do y'all like my hair? This is what I was talking about. We're doing something different. I did a bust down part. Period. So, I did a bust down in the middle. I like it. I actually do like the middle parts. Like, what do y'all think? Am I cute or not? So... I'm sorry, I had to drink my water. Like, I am so freaking thirsty. I need to make sure I take it when I'm walking because the way how the sun is feeling is quite frankly ridiculous. So, it's 3.55. This thing is supposed to start at, like, 4. It's supposed to be, like, different, different things. So, I will check in with y'all when I'm out of the core. So, we're here at the place to look at the cake lady, but it's supposed to be kind of like, like a carnival. I wouldn't call it a carnival because there's no rides. But I don't know what else to call it, where there's a bunch of food trucks. Pop-up shop. Pop-up shop. Oh, pop-up shops. A bunch of pop-up shops is here. But it is pouring rain, and I got on flare pants. So, yeah, we're waiting for the rain to let up. But when we looked at the weather, it definitely was not giving rain at all. I'm looking down because I'm trying to, like, look up our location. So, I gotta catch y'all up on tea. We won't be using that person as a cake person. So, we're going into the mall right now. But first, we're gonna go bother my sister brother in law. So, let's go. Yeah, I hope y'all can see me because I am cooking. So, it's another day in the vlog. I literally just got home from work. So, fun fact my job just moved offices, right? And it's back in the city that I used to, well, I didn't work particularly in this city, of city, but it is a little bit further away from my old office. Um, and y'all, I don't miss that ride at all. When I had to do it, I had already knew off the jump that, like, I was, let me start this up because I need to actually get my other seasonings. But I'm actually making big Z tonight. But I had already knew, like, I was just, I don't know. We're just going to pray to God that I can get through this beginning. One second, let me finish seasoning up the meat real quick, okay? So I just finished seasoning up the meat. 
And I use ground turkey for like all of my dishes. The problem is though, when I make baby ziti, I haven't been able to find the turkey version of the Italian sausage. So when I'm able to find it, just know I'm gonna switch this as well. I make my spaghetti. I use turkey sausage as well as ground turkey. But anyways, y'all, so I want it to be, um, I'm mixing in the sausages and I actually need to turn this down because I am missing something. Give me one second. All right, so I forgot the peppers and onions. I was like, I was looking, I was like, huh, this is missing something. The peppers and onions, which if you've ever made, give me one second. If you ever made baked ziti, you know, that is a staple to the dish. So I'm just stirring this up. I'm gonna let the peppers, onions, and all that cook down a little bit. So I have it on a very low simmer um, because I forgot I needed to do that because everything else is cooked. The ground turkey is cooked, the sausages is cooked. Now it's just all about cooking this down and I'm gonna add my tomato sauce, mix it together with my ziti noodles. But let me show y'all what you girls working with right now. Okay, so this is what it's giving right now. So all of that's gonna simmer down. It's a little oil at the bottom. I don't want it to be too oily because the sausage is already produced a lot of oil on its own. And when you add the cheese, that's gonna give it more oil, but back to me. So I kind of decided to talk to, to y'all in the living room instead because I liked how I looked over here as opposed to in the kitchen. In the kitchen, I don't know. I still gotta figure out my settings for in the kitchen because I had it perfectly. And then now it's just kind of like all over the place, but as I wait for that food to cook down. I want to talk about something. So I don't remember if I talked about it or not, but I went to the Drake concert uh, yesterday and I was opposed to going to it. I had already agreed to it, but this was before I had a conversation with my church about you have to be careful about what you listen to and the things that you partake in as a Christian. And I immediately was like, ooh, I shouldn't have agreed to go to this concert. And up until the last minute is when I finally decided to go. I went, yeah, I had a little fun. I kind of tapped into my old side a little bit and this is just me being honest. But when I left from there, my spirit didn't feel right. Like I actually felt bad for going. So it was to the point I literally had to repent. Like I had to actually talk to God about it because I don't know, it's just like, I went to church that day and I know some people are probably going to judge me. I don't care. But I went to church that day and then I went to the concert. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you, we can't keep making these same mistakes over and over and over again. So I really had to repent about it because I was like, yeah, this is not for me anymore. And somebody had made a comment like, oh, what did y'all do today? And I was like, oh, we went to church. And I was like, oh, you went to church and now you're at a Drake concert? And I'm like, like are you really judging me when... I have 50 million things I can judge you on, but I'm not going to do that because it's it makes no sense for me to judge you on it. I'm going to already feel bad about being here, and now you're trying to do that. So I just had to talk to God about that one and really repent for that. I had debated if I wanted to add the footage, particularly in this vlog, but I'm going to add it so y'all going to see it now. But something I learned is that I really have to part ways with that type of music and stop being kind of like, I don't want to call myself a part-time Christian, but, and I also don't want to call myself like a lukewarm Christian, but I have to stop making those little minor mistakes, those slip ups. Cause it, sometimes for me, it feels like when I take 10 steps forward and I make that one mistake that I just went 20 steps backwards which I've learned and been taught that that's not the case. You just have to repent for it. Like I said, I already felt bad about it. Um, and yeah, spirit just didn't sit right with it. But another thing I want to talk about, do y'all know what's the most craziest thing is that I struggle with trying to figure out all the time and overlooking into things when people, let's say for instance, don't like me or whatever, and having to remind myself that I cannot control anybody. I cannot control how people feel about me. People will not like you for whatever reason. It is what it is. It sucks, especially because it could have been something so minor that you might have done to them, like not speaking to them or giving them like a slap, oh, hi, you know, and not engaging in conversation. It could have been anything. Um, 
and sometimes people take those type of things to heart but the whole time you didn't even realize you did it and it was in, unintentional and not everybody is gonna be the type of person to come and say oh you did this and that and the third and I didn't like that a lot of times people will just not say anything but you know clear as day that there's a problem yes yeah, stir it please you'll know clear as day that there's a problem um but i'm the type of person where if somebody has a problem with me i'd rather you address the problem because i don't want to approach you and assume there is a problem whole time there wasn't a problem you just don't like me <laughs> you know what i'm saying and sometimes some people are just not gonna like you and it's what it is another thing i learned it's not to befriend people they don't like you like if they don't like you it is what it is move on in life we just don't need to interact with each other i'm a big believer of we don't have to like each other but you will respect me and i will respect you that's just life and if you cannot respect me you need to stay away from me um but yeah y'all then another thing quit touching it so i have postponed this vlog this vlog was supposed to go up sunday but i didn't have enough footage so i decided that the vlog was going to go up today um, not today. I was going to keep recording to get a longer vlog because I learned today from one of my favorite YouTubers that the longer your video is, the algorithm might push it out. So let's see what this vlog does. And plus, I've been telling you I wanted to do like longer vlogs because I feel like those quick vlogs doesn't really allow you guys to really get to see who Darielle is, aka me. So yeah, y'all. Um, but I'm going to aim for that and now I have to find another braider because I hit up my braider because I wanted a particular style I was fiending for some braids I'm tired of wearing the wigs I love my wigs but it's like I, my hair needs a break but she says she's not doing braids anymore and I'm like even though she only braided my hair once I did like how the braids turned out so now I have to find somebody else to do it and I'm literally to the point of just wearing my natural hair like I'm honestly this close to just wearing my natural hair and once in a blue moon doing like wigs but it is what it is. I'm going to go in the kitchen and finish cooking because I literally want to rest my mind and I'll talk to y'all later. shooting survivor I got PTSD I fought through a lot to be here well you know what first of all everybody in this building needs to show you some love because that's some real shit and tell the girl behind her to step up too that's the other sign that I like then we gonna go over here there's somebody I want to talk to look at this sign right here look at this sign right here I just beat stage three breast cancer I'm celebrating life with you what's up hey both of y'all, both of y'all, very heroic to me. I got love for you. I want you to take your mind, though, off all of the hard times. So we gonna give you 25,000 each. Y'all need to go on a vacation. You might wanna go to Hi you guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. It is another day in the work week. So I'm at my new office. I actually forgot, where is it at? My parking pass, we gotta give it back for the old building. So um, I had to come to the car and grab this, but I was like, let me say hello to my beautiful people. Um, I'm gonna kind of show y'all my new desk, but I'm gonna try because of the setup, but let's go into work. guys happy i don't even know what day it is but it is our two-year anniversary i have to hurry up because we're in valet and i know they're probably looking at me like i'm crazy but we're about to go to eat he made us early dinner reservation so i can't take in the camera camera but i'm gonna try to record for y'all on my phone
it's going to make me mad. church um so now we're going to our appointment and then afterwards i think we have a birthday party to go to and we have a, an appointment right after that as well and it's the first of the month so i hope y'all paying y'all rent but yeah y'all it's a whole lot a whole lot of going on this saturday i look forward to being able to finally sleep in on a saturday and just chill but i'm gonna show y'all the fit for today <laughs> so this is the fit for today let me show y'all the shoes i gotta take off one of the shoes so y'all can see them i think you but I'm going to my appointment now. Hey you guys, I'm late this quick, but I am in Ross looking for office decor, so let's go. Y'all look at these. These look the cutest. They're so cute. I'm about to try on all of these, and I promise y'all I'm not gonna get a majority of them because they're probably not gonna fit. So let's go. Love yours. 